Kunda Nina Len White ah. Dylan Garam Dylan Santa Tibati La Ila Hailala Situri Seydina Give it to them, give it to them Your love me happy, all of my friends Give it to them, give it to them Hey again, this is E Better Way Entertainment My name is Marcus Allen Lachey um, I'm at Vibe Studios. I'm here with one of the artists that are working here. Um, he goes by the name of Bamba, but I will let him explain who he is. So how are you, uh, Bamba? Pleasure to, hey, pleasure to meet you. Marcus. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, yeah. How did you get started in the music industry? Yeah, well, for people who don't know me, my name is Bamba. Um, I'm coming from Gambia originally and I live here in Switzerland for about 20 years. Okay. So I've been a musician since I was in Gambia. Okay. So I played percussion and xylophone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, um, over the years I came to Switzerland and been playing for many other uh, bands. Okay. Like European bands, tropical bands. Bass guitar, bass bass guitar. guitar. Okay. I, I did play the guitar myself and then I started a way back with friends. Give it to them, give it to them. Amba is here to tell them again. Okay, so some history there. Looking back over the years, um, would you say, like, how, would you have done anything different or anything? Well, yes. Um, I'm a family man mm -hmm. and I started my work with the family, with the private work that I did, also with music. Mm -hmm. Because all the times we couldn't we couldn't earn from the music. Right. That's so right. we just gave out, we had patience, we hustled and we hustled but we still lived and sticked on it. Mm -hmm. So I mean give it to them. Amba is here to tell them again. Um, pop music. Okay, different categories. Yes, um, the guy I was playing for had a golden album. Mm -hmm. So early days, Mala Glenn is okay. well known. For those who don't know, can Google it. And I've played for tropical bands, I've okay. played for reggae bands, and then, well, the music goes on. That's <laughs> right, that's right. What, what has been your motivation to, to do music? You know, what, oh, what inspired yeah. you? The struggle is real, you can't complain. Life is a game, don't feel the same. Children on the streets are crying. I mean, this is where you might laugh because I was still a young guy who played the xylophone and making some entertainment groups way back. I'm not from a Greer family, but I think my family didn't like it so much. Okay. They told me, yeah, you could be doing something better because you are not a Greer. But I keep on telling them, listen, Dad, music is part of our souls. So it's not I'm going to go to find another job to be a mason, a carpenter, to be achieving my goal from there. No, music can fill up my soul. Okay. So this is the way I go. So I was like stubborn, but I kept it. Good. And what you. pushed me also is like, in, in Switzerland, is my friend Superman. I always say, come on, this band have been to that band I've been, it's never gonna stay with us. Push me up. Come back. You are the guy and just keep it up, keep it up. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that was that was actually my next question. Mm -hmm. Who's been one of your influences or, or your uh, the biggest influence? Uh, that's right, that's, that's what I'm that's telling you. That's my know? boy who always <laughs> Right. Okay. <laughs> well, it was not an easy thing to do because imagine if you have a family in Switzerland, everything is expensive. You gotta have a job, right. at least a part-time job to fulfill the music. Right. So I had the way out. Uh, my kids were young in Alsville. I had a studio there, and my friend used to come there. So he did motivate me all the years. All the time. Mm -hmm. and now he did motivate me. Mm -hmm. um, I can remember way over. I was just the instrumentalist, and then. I could sing, but I didn't want to sing, so he pushed me in there. Pushed me, Mama, you have a wonderful voice. <laughs> and now I'm passing some of his tracks and my tracks, and we work really together. Okay, in maybe we'll hear some of it later. Sure. So you said you were a bass player, musician at heart. Um, what kind of production do you do around? Well, 
I am in a half and half bit in the music or the production. I could play but to produce. So I know where to play the keyboard, but, but what to put together to bring these flashy things. So what I did that I went to the event academy and I started school. Mm -hmm. So I did a full-time school uh, with um, everything around it. Full-time school, but I mean that you have electrotechnic, um, studio technic, uh, um, even technic. Okay. You have business English. Well, we know that. But I mean to tell you what we all have. We have nine, um, nine um, lessons okay. that we have to fulfill. And mm -hmm. then I passed that way out. And then I had my practicum. I must have to do a practicum mm -hmm. for the studies. So well, I was so lucky. Uh, I had a pop academy who said yes. Well, they were going to take me, and the. Um, Sudwest Rundfunk, that is the radio station, the biggest one in Germany, okay. the main radio station. Wow. They were going for me too. Yeah, they want to get me too. So I went for them for practicals, like six months. This was between the school. We had to achieve that. Mm -hmm. And then, well, after that, I went back to school. But after I finished my diploma, they took me way back. Okay. Yes. So I was working for the radio station like a couple of three years. Okay. Uh, in the music production, in the music studios, in the um, event studios, on plot sessions. Okay. And also yeah. with the uh, sound and the equipment, you you also responsible for that in in Basel, right? Yeah. Love, love. That is what I. Yeah. Of course, I work right away in the Casal in Basel. And I'm making my products on my own here in the Vibe Studio. Okay. I work with Sugar Daddy my friend. Uh, this is not a friendly business, so it's a work that we're doing together. And I'm a producer also in the studio. You have any upcoming shows coming up? Uh, I know you perform with Sugar Daddy. I'm pretty sure you'll be on stage or so. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, well, the upcoming show will be right away in September with the guy Kenton. The poet, great guy. Okay. And then that would be the next coming up concert. Okay. But in my life, yes, there's been way up a lot of concerts. Sure. Yeah. Nice. Well, yeah. Coming up some some lot of good stuff. Okay, that's what I wanted to hear. You got some good stuff coming up. See. Give it to them. Give it to them. Your love me happy. All of my friends. Give it to them. Give it to them. Bamba is here to tell. Last but not least, how can people find you? Yeah, they can find me on the, my email, Bamba Voyager, or me Spotify, in YouTube. Okay. My name is, artist name is Bamba, and well, there are some stuff you can check about. It. All social media platforms. All social media platforms. Okay. All right. Wait, something I gotta say. Sure. Where is this basement when we paint this wall? That is over 20 years ago, 25. So. This is where we painted That's the basement, and that was this girl. Um, um, wait, I can't remember. It's a long time. Um, this is Bamba. You know, this is his true story about his his uh, coming to Switzerland, his relationship with Vibe Studio and Sugar Daddy. Welcome. I gave you all I've got, but this is reality. And uh, don't worry. So Bamba, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Again, my name is Marcus Allen Lachey. I'm with E Better Way Entertainment. And Bamba, it was a pleasure to meet you again. Marcus. And uh, everything positive in the future. Thank you very much, Marcus. You're welcome. Have a great day now. You're a great guy. <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you. Bless. Bless my heart. Yes, yes. <laughs> Still, it wasn't enough. You abuse the situation. Life is a give and take Try not to make mistakes Now is a bit too late